Hi, I'm Camilla DeVito, and I'm making this uh, short video for uh, Mr. Mr. Taylor, um, Mr. Taylor Conroy, and TED Talks. Um, so, uh, I, I, um, I cannot afford to pay for your coaching, for your expertise. Um, and I am not accustomed to asking for things of that which I did not earn or of that which I cannot pay for myself. So I'm making this video because I feel I need to face you um, before Tuesday so that you have an idea uh, about why it is that I think that um, that uh, you should give me a chance and that um, why uh, I could be an asset to your company and um, a little bit about who I am and my children, my students. So um, I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher leader, I'm dedicated uh, my kids in the inner city, I've dedicated my life to teaching and learning from them. Um, they come first. Uh, um, I'm not just uh, a booking or um, uh, fly-by-night uh, entertainment, limited edition, uh, let's make a speech for 18 minutes and inspire people so that they feel good and then they can go home and, you know, go on their way with their merry selves. Um, I'm the real deal. I talk the talk and I walk the walk. I say what I mean and I mean what I say. And when I say that my kids are extraordinary, um, I mean it, <laughs> they're brilliant. <laughs> I need to, I would, it's an, it would be an honor to collaborate and to work with you because my kids are so, uh, so so brilliant and so forward thinking that we have outgrown our classroom. Um, we, um, my kids and I, we have outgrown my school building. And so I need a new classroom. I need to borrow your platform. And I promise it will be worth your while. So I'm just going to play just while I'm talking to you um, so that you see what I'm talking about. Um, okay. okay, so it's better I don't I don't talk. Right, so um, for example, this year I worked in a charter school in Queens. I um, always work in the inner city with the urban youth because I believe that the black and brown children, they are the genesis of society and they teach us more than we could ever teach them. Um, if, if we can, uh, reimagine society better they are the leaders of they can do that better than we can so uh, my classroom our classroom it is a microcosm of society in which we value the human condition more than um, a score or a price or um, just kind of going through the motions Whenever I am in front of my children, uh, I started my career 15 years ago in this country, we, we uh, build our own professional learning community. We carve out a niche in our classroom. We get it right. Uh, we read, we write, we have difficult, fierce discussions of that which adults cannot have. We make moves. Uh, we take um, people and um, life very seriously. We are a lifestyle. We are an addiction. We, um, we, you don't know whether to 
hate us or love us, but you keep us close because when you're in the presence of greatness, you know that you're seeing something that maybe you haven't seen before, but it is worth your while. So, uh, for example, my six, seven, and eight year olds in September, September of 2021, they came in mostly um, illiterate, non readers, whatnot, with a need. Um, they were, we were remote for a while. I ran a very strong virtual program. I can't speak for anybody else. The kids come in, they're, they're ready, they're in front of me. They, by January 25th, 2022, um, right? I had six, seven and eight year olds reading at a sixth grade level, right? In accordance with formal iReady and ANET testing. Um, testing out of second grade or reading and uh, writing and computing as if uh, they were at the end of their second grade year. So to me, this is, they, they represent not only the best part of, of people, of, of us, but uh, we, they are leaders in the school. So whatever we build in the classroom, it seeps out into the hallways, right? Which is what, what we want to happen. You want to change society. You want to be a part of something that is larger than yourself. Then you need to get it right. You want to model that constantly. Um, I don't care that I have the highest scores in the school. I do care that my children are the best and that I am giving them the best that I can give. They, they move mountains with their words like their teacher. Um, uh, what I have combated over uh, 15 years is um, I move schools about every two years because while our success is everyone's success and it raises the bar, um, it, it um, also causes some, some issues, right, with the adults in the building. Um, so, so while we are very, uh, we represent the best of the school and of the school building leader and of the learning organization, we are also seen as the biggest threat. Um, and, and that is, you know, it's said to my face, you know, Ms. Tavito, uh, you are the biggest threat to me, right? Um, how six, seven, and eight-year-olds who, who work hard and who push adults to be better than they are and who are, uh, they are just, lo you know, they love life and, and, and love learning. I don't know how they could possibly threaten a school building leader or anyone, um, but we, our voice is very powerful. Um, and what's happening is um, we are outgrowing our own classroom. We are outgrowing the system. We, we, have, we are outgrowing the school building leader. We outgrow the school because we are ahead of the curve. And we want, uh, we, we, we want to carry everyone. But, but we cannot carry adults that uh, don't want to get there from here. Um, I, I, I have seen some things that you, they, I, I can't even put, put them into words, right? At this point, because, because I, uh, can, I cannot just continue to move on from this and not combat the issue. I'm doing them a disservice. Like the children, they're getting it right. They're reimagining it better, especially in a post-pandemic -pan era. They know what is necessary in order to um, change the world and move us closer to a utopia uh, rather than kind of in limbo where we are, right? They value people. They value each other. Uh, they. 
they respect and love each other. So they model how our society should be. They not only preserve and defend the human condition, they, um, they prove its, its worth. Um, and they always get it right. And that's what we're looking to do is constantly evolve and get things right. That's the future, right? We're in the digital new era and um, we need to learn how to be human again. Um, we need to put a human face on digication, on the metaverse, on building, uh, and building through a screen. They, they can do that, right? So what we've been doing is we've been carrying adults trying giving giving to to um, folks in the learning organization who are takers who are common who um, for some reason um, relish comfortability and complacency that's fine when you come my children uh, when you are mean-spirited when you when you physically come at them um, you know spar with me I'm grown but um, leave them alone. That's that's that is that is a problem. Um, that is that is a problem. Um, it, it it is not something I can move forward from, like by working in another school. Um, I have to do better. We. We get it right. I get it right. My kids get it right. I know I'm not being as articulate as I as I can be, but the thing is, is that if um, if I need a new classroom, and I'd like you to lend me yours, you have a platform. You have a stage. You have TED Talks is an organization that uh, supports children and learning and progress and moving forward and, and pushing the confines of uh, what, is, uh, what is in front of us so that tomorrow we can make it better so that we evolve, so that we get it right, so that we value each other, right? Because if black lives don't matter, nobody's life matters. Um, the least we can do is get it right in the schools with minors. So, I, um, I put my money where my mouth is, and it goes to my kids. Books, supplies, uh, anything they need. So, I don't even have the minimum $500 to put down to convince you to take a chance on me right so what can I what how can I give how can I contribute um, I uh, I can reach people folks from all walks of life I've been devoting my uh, life because I am a lifestyle uh, to children and it is the adults that seem to need more of my attention. So I have outgrown my classroom and I have outgrown uh, professional public learning organizations run by leaders who, instead of learning from my children um, and myself and, and, and emulating that success and, and celebrating it, um, they are they are stymieing us they are thwarting us and i am not here to disperse blame but i i i will with the children continue to model the right behavior um, how can i contribute right so in the spirit of redefining and reimagining it better the emphasis is on collaboration and collegiality and forming, forging relationships. 
I don't think that people know what a colleague is. They, uh, they don't know, adults, right? right? We don't know how to work together. And even in tech t TED Talks, you've got um, a, pro a process where it's, it's one person on a stage, right? It's, it's, it's talking at an audience that doesn't talk back. Um, yes, you are spreading an idea that's, that, is, that needs to be spread. But it, it is an antiquated model, right? So you, you have the power to, um, to lead the global society um, <laughs> to um, live how we should to be better. So what do I mean by that? It isn't enough that you spread an idea. It isn't um, enough that we have one person on a stage talking at an audience that's too safe, right? The audience knows that by the end of the TED Talk, they're going to be given something. But, um, but from our perspective, myself and my students, people need to be repurposed. They need to be given a purpose. You gotta make them work, right? Nobody wants to just exist to exist or uh, push paper to push paper. Right, so TED Talks gives the world something phenomenal, but but it doesn't make them work hard enough. So I can do that. I can help with that. And what does that mean for you? That means that uh, other competitors, like podcasts, other uh, uh, media outlets of that which are vying for subscribers. Right. They, they, they don't go to them. They, they keep coming back to, to your organization because your organization is going to model the new kind of global classroom and you're going to get it right because you value people. They are indispensable and they are priceless and what they have to offer transcends the screen. What they have to offer and bring to the table um, transcends uh, uh, some personal wealth or personal capital or gain. Uh, you can you can feed uh, the global society. You're doing a great job, but but you can do better too, right? Like I can do better. You can do better too. So people don't know how to have a fierce conversation or an uncomfortable conversation so that they listen and value what one another has to say so that they don't feel threatened by six, seven, and eight-year-olds, so that they don't feel threatened by, by a teacher who um, is getting it right, yeah? Um, my work ethic should not be the biggest threat. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Yes, my voice is powerful because my children's, they, we linger, we, we haunt you, we stay with you, you don't forget us. Um, people don't know whether to love or hate us, good, good. That type of in limbo gets them coming back. It means that they're learning, they're evolving. They're not complacent. They don't leave a TED talk, right, and continue on their merry way. They, they live that preach, right? So that is what I do. I, I live what I preach, you see, because there is no other way for me. Yeah, so um, I, uh, I, I, I choose to put my students first, always. They are my personal and my professional life. I don't close the door at the end of the day and forget. That's, I'm not conditioned to do that. It's, there's too much at stake here and they are too brilliant. They are too brilliant to, to, to not want more for them, to not, to, to not think of them, to not um, push myself to be the best I can be for them. I, I, I cannot live any other way, right? So I, I cannot sleep at night because because by moving schools every two years for being good at my job and for valuing 
the children in front of me who are an already vulnerable population, an undervalued population, you know, I feel like I'm the monster. I'm the criminal. I open the gate. I'm the intruder. And um, I'm, I'm tired of waiting for people to catch up. Yeah? So I need you to lend me your space because I have outgrown my classroom and I need to do better for my children, our children, and for the adults in our global community. They need my attention. So I need you to please lend me, let me build a new classroom with you and let us redefine collegiality and let us model what it looks like. So what does that mean? I'm, I know you have to do the 18 minute by myself. That's great. But um, I, 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 we need to, um, we need to be able to spar back and forth in front of that audience live so that they know what it looks like to have a meaningful, significant, layered, uh, everlasting, irrevocable, epic conversation of, of value so that we, we value who we are again and we are not in this fear, right? I remember, I remember um, the school building leader kept interrupting my lesson. Uh, you're not wearing the mask, Ms. DeVito. Right, so see, here's the thing. If my kids are gonna catch COVID, so I want it too. Like if, if, if it's, it's not, what's the point of my being in the class without them, right? So there's, there's so much anxiety, there's, there's fear and it's 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 of people uh, um we we are in fear of each other specifically the most vulnerable underdogs of society those populations and uh it is those populations uh, that that teach us the most about the human condition and about what it is to to um to to get it right and in life it's not cars or money or I can't be bought or sold, right? There's, there's, that's, that's it, right? Um, you can't buy me. I'm, I'm inaffordable. Right? I will work for you for free until I get it right because that feeds my soul. It's not that it's the right thing to do. It's, it's a, that's a lifestyle, right? Um, I need your help in uh, building an army and creating buy-in um, so that we can get it right and be better because my children getting it right in the classroom, it's not enough. We, we are powerful, we are strong, but we don't lower ourselves, we don't, we don't use our fists, we don't fight in the street, we don't curse. We always rise and we model, we model the best behavior. When a bully does not get tired though, and you are dealing with minors, and so now um, things are being taken from them and I can't protect them, I, um, I'm disservicing them by, by not doing better for the adults in the learning organization. I, I'm disservicing the children. I need them, they're an integral part of, of this, this you know, new, new age, new era, woke, locked, equitable existence that it starts, it should start with, with the public schools, with the children. The, the waiting for Superman, there is, there is no such a thing. Like he's, he's not coming down, right? Jesus couldn't even get it right. Yeah, right. He left at 33. Right? So they, they, they can get it right. They are the superheroes. So we are, we are. Um, I when I don't know something, I ask them, and they give me the answer, and they always get it right. So it's like the youth leading us into the future, so that we're better, so we value each other.
so that we can look into each other's eyes and have a meaningful conversation without, you know, standing up and, you know, using our fists. Um, we, we use our words to cut. We use our words to build and move mountains. And that's, that's, I'm not here to be liked. I'm not here for that. Good that people don't know how to, I don't fit nowhere, right? That's, they, are, they are bothered by me, but they're also intrigued. Good, because that means that they can learn. So as long as adults continue to evolve and learn, we're gonna get it right. It's when we become complacent and we are, we are comforted in, in common and basic because we want that check. Um, that's where we run into problems. And, and we, COVID, it's, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's terrible. But um, I can't control that. What I can do is use it as an opportunity to be better, right? So my virtual program was epic. I taught all day long, every day. We did not drop the ball as a result of a, a pandemic. And I can prove that um, because in New York State, you have to record your lessons. I have children and parents watching them back. So I have thousands of hours with my children teaching, t speaking uh, Black Lives Matter, speaking on, um, speaking on adult issues that we can't combat, speaking on um, why people, um, you know, this uh, kind of, you know, for example, you have, we have racism, right? But the person that is exhibiting this type of racism, you know, is it, is it uh, because they hate their own self? And, and, and what do we do with people like that? Do we exile them? Do we put them in prison? Do we shame them? And my children, no, 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 we forgive. It's our job to teach them. It's our job to carry them. They are not uh, a burden. They are a, pri they are a privilege. It is a privilege to learn and make moves. And, and everyone can do it. But they, they choose wrong. They don't want to. So why is that? Well, it's because they don't value their own self. Um, There is also the component of um, collaboration. So for, for three years, I have uh, collaborated with uh, a gentleman, Mr. Muir's, a, a colleague in the true sense of a colleague. So it's a white lady, uh, big married, older black man, right? People don't like to see that. It bothers them. We are colleagues. We are, we are working together to build something within the organization. And the kids get it, and we get it. His wife gets it, right? And the school building, um, the, 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 the adults, the le they don't get it. Right? It upsets them. What is that? Yeah. So um, you're not just redefining um, a new society and a new educa public education. Um, yeah, you are, you are, um, there is, there is something called collegiality that really exists and this is what it looks like now and tough if you don't like looking at it or if you're not used to seeing it. Um, I, you, you don't get to call me a, a whore because I'm not married, but, but I, I work closely with this man who is my colleague because we are building something of that which is professional that speaks to the learning organization and the, being, being the hub of the community. Like you don't get detained to me because you're uncomfortable with, with that collaboration because you don't, maybe you, you know, you don't, you've never, you don't collab, right? You get married and 
half half this right half the it's like fifty percent divorce. People stop building. They don't build with each other. They don't collab. They don't know what that looks like. I do. My children do. Let me model that. Let let me let me help. Let me model that for for us on your stage. So I'm not standing there by myself talking at people. Right? Their voice matters. They have a role in what it is. This life lesson that I'm trying to uh, sell. It's this lifestyle that they need to um, buy into for their own sake. There is no question I cannot answer. There is nothing I cannot um, combat or grapple with or explain um, without my words. I, I use my words always. So um, help me, help me to do what I, I cannot be less than I am and I can't keep um, being pushed around and I can't keep running and um, this, I, 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 I can confront and shut this down in a way that is, um, in a way that is productive and non-combative and everlasting. Um, I show up no matter what you say or do or you can it's there is you can't you can hit me that's fine I'll wait until you're done right but I'm I'm showing up the next day to teach right so so um I am fearless in in that respect right um It's, it's not it's not difficult for me you are a human being I'm a human being right you are so angry let, 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 let me help you let me um, let, let me let, let me show you how I value you and how integral you are to uh, this process and uh, why you don't need to find children and six seven and eight year olds who can read on a sixth grade level Big, the biggest threat to your principalship. Yeah. Let me help you with that. Um, so that's that's, uh, that's that's it. I'm not, you know, I'm not anybody special, um, but I am self-made, and um, I I never stop learning, and I will never stop showing up, and. That loyalty, that commitment, that sustainability, that's, there's something to that, right? So I, I build it with my words, and I, I don't care if people love or hate me good. It means that they're, they're learning. They keep coming back. There is something enigmatic. There is people do want to be better, right? even if they hate the messenger. I, I don't care. I want them to be better. I want... I, 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 I don't, I, it's not, it's, it's, it's about what's right and it's about what we can do as a global society. We're not getting it right and we're choosing that. So um, I'm done with that. Yeah. So please, please help me to build a new kind of classroom so that we are uh, we are moving forward to this brave new era with a renewed sense of keeping hope alive because we are human and because we have the capacity to uh, love and to respect and to support each other We are not in juxtaposition to each other. We are, we are not. It's, it's, that's not what this is. We're a community. It's if we're a family, right? Blended family. And let's start with the children, right? Okay. Um, I'm sorry that was so long. Thank you for listening. And I was nervous. So I'm sorry I was not as uh, articulate um, 
as I could be. But please, please work with me. Please give me a chance. I, I will. Um, I, I will get it right, and I, I will do right by your organization. And um, mm, please let me contribute. These are my kids. You see, so they're. Um, they're using uh, my, my, my Prezi software. I want them to not just uh, dream about having a seat at the table. They need to be exposed to the same software programs and technology that affluent white schools are exposed to so that they can compete, so that they can carve out a niche in society of that which is theirs, so that they're running the boardroom, so that they have a voice. Thank you for listening. I look forward to meeting Mr. Kale on Monday and hopefully you also on Tuesday. And uh, you know, it's, 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 an, it's I, I'm ready now. I'm, I'm running rings around, around myself and drive myself insane, right? Please help me do what I do best, which is teach and learn and rinse repeat. Thank you for having me.